Okay, we have Radi Opacic from Serbia fighting Christian Ristea from Romania. And Ristea, although he lost here in a previous outing on Senchi, he's got the heart of a warrior. He's in great shape. He's got the credentials. WKU Inter Intercontinental Champion to 2022 Super Combat New Heroes Champion and a Fight Arena Champion 2023. So he knows his way around the ring. However, I have to say he's up against an absolute monster with Radi Opacic, who at 27 really hasn't reached his prime and has got the power to knock out just about anybody. And he's huge. 27 is a good age. When he throws a low kick, I mean, he, you don't want to be on the end of it. And he's nimble for his size. Well, that was a nice little calf kick there from the Romanian. Now, well, I mean, I'm intriguing as this fight opens up i'm surprised that radi opacic isn't taking advantage of his uh his reach advantage all right it looks like it's going to break them up there it really looks like he's taking it easy and he's uh he's getting warmed up or something yeah but you don't want to take too many low kicks like that no you wouldn't and you see he's got they're very tidy they weren't full power i'm sure Blocking uh, those punches. Yes, but he must have felt them. And this one has also have been felt. Tight, tight defense. Well, he's, he's got an extremely powerful low kick and he hasn't thrown it once yet. Well, he has... Uh, We're halfway uh, through the first his, round. He takes his time. I mean, for me, throwing a low kick is not just like that. You, you must have the right timing. And uh, maybe he's waiting for that. But he hasn't found the timing yet, or he, uh, or he saves his opponent. Well, or he doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Romanian here is putting up a much better performance than he did last time. He's gone away, worked on his weaknesses, and he's come back strong. Yeah. Well, he's here to fight. It's always good to see uh, fighters who, uh, I mean, if you know your opponent is good, then still try to still fight him. And that's what he does now. It's, uh, it's good to see. Yeah, full credit, I would say. Uh, exactly. I wouldn't say, by no stretch of the imagination had I written Christian Ristia off because no. he's an absolute warrior. Yeah. But Radi Opacic, I've seen him fight for years. Mm -hmm. And when he's on form, he's an absolute powerhouse. Yeah, a a real danger. Yeah. Well, they, they both look dangerous. That, that's interesting to see. Uh, it looks like they both missed a heavy shot, uh, both with the right. And um, it looks like it, to me, it still looks like it can go both. It can go both ways. Definitely, because they both has to put the, the punching give, power. And I'm going to give the first round to uh, Christian Ristia. I'm not sure of that. I, did, no? I think it, uh, maybe, maybe you're right, but uh, I think they both had their good moments. Well, so um, might be a draw. Well, only I'm only saying that because most. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. How do we how do we judge it? I mean, a lot of the punches mm -hmm. that Opacic threw were on the gloves. That's true, but he was putting he was putting more pressure. He was putting more pressure. That, uh, but the true. kicks the kicks of Ristia have left a little bit of damage to the calf and thigh of Opacic. True. Difficult one. No. So we come out for the second round. 
of our 10th contest here at Senshi 23. Uh, it look, really looks interesting the way they move. They both move. It looks to me like Alpacic is waiting for it to land a big counter yeah. rather than an attack and set something up. Yeah. Nice right hand there from Rastia. Body shot from Alpacic. And uh, Rastia needs to throw punches in combinations because I'm not sure he's got the power for a single shot. I think he has. To bowl him over? I think? Think he, I think he has. I, I think he has the power of the, the for a single shot, but it, then, it, then in that case it must be a counter. And not and just right an on attack. target. Exactly. Yeah. It must be a counter right on target. Nice body shots there from Opacic. Yeah, that's... Well, he might take his toll uh, later in the fight. If you're going to feel that, then it uh, takes away some air. Oh. Nice. Nice work from Rastia. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they both are powerful. They both have a lot of explosion in their in their arms. But I'm surprised tonight, Opacic, he just seemed, his work rate, it's not the well. No, that was a lovely body shot. Uh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, Seems to be holding back. Maybe he's holding back, but maybe his, op his opponent is uh, is putting pressure on him also. <laughs> but up till now, it's an interesting fight. It's fascinating. Yeah, it could, de it could definitely go either yeah. way. And yeah. Uh, Opacic is so big yeah. and so powerful. I hope to see another round. And uh, there's a 30 seconds to go, so there's the chance is big. I mean, I'm, I'm <coughs> perhaps I'm over over critical of Opacic because he's one of my favourite big fighters, mm -hmm. and I've seen him in some great battles. Yeah. Well, but Ristia's performance tonight is outstanding. It's good, but. Still, Opacic is putting is is putting is pressuring and is fighting forward. So he is maybe in favor with the judges because of that. And this is tiring Rastia out, isn't it? Exactly. That's what I always say. Walking backwards is is more energy takes more energy than walking forward. So second round, who would you give that one to then? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, again, I it's think, difficult. Uh, yeah, maybe, um, maybe Ristea. Well, if we give that one to Ristea, maybe a draw. Good, good, good lord! It's a. Uh, it depends if you're if you're judging it on who's coming forward, who lands the heavier shots. That's it. That's then the it will thing. Be I mean, only coming forward is not enough. No, exactly. Because if, if your opponent uh, lending more good shots, it's it, it yeah it can still go both ways. Well, but interesting. I'll give that one to uh, Ristir again. And that might sound weird, but on my card I'm two two rounds to, to nothing to uh, to Ristir, But and I could be completely wrong. Yeah, I think I, did, I think the difference is not that big. Are because we gonna, Opacic are we is more is, is pressing more was pressing more in the in the first two rounds. Now it looks like it's the other way around. That's so it's the third and final round. Oh wow! Well, so Ristia has got his confidence yeah. now. Well, maybe uh, he thinks like it's the last round. I have to. Uh, it is an interesting fight. I that, thought that's for sure. I thought we would see Opacic come out. Now an open Amazing. up. Yeah. Uh, nice uppercut. Yep. 
checks both those kicks. Yeah, well, it's still, it's still interesting. It is interesting fight because they both work. Their work rate, work rate is quite high, especially for heavyweights. Yep. And um, yeah, they they still look like they both look like they they want to go for it. Oh, oh great, great move. Kick. <laughs> Yeah, he can laugh, but it scores points. Yeah, and that landed on his head. Yeah. So we've got one minute, 20 seconds left of this third and final round. And Opacic has repeatedly gone for that liver shot. Yeah. Oh, oh that knee landed through the middle. I think it wasn't hard enough, but it was on the spot. And the right one also. So he's putting more oh. pressure now. So this is going to make him win the fight if he's continue with like, like that. Yep. 50 seconds to go. And now... Alpacic corner telling him 40 seconds to go. Yes. And actually, Rastia's corner. Oh, with another knee. Yes. And Rastia has worked his heart out in this fight. He's taken two right hands there. Oh, he's got a cut above his, uh, between his uh, eyes. I don't know how, well, hard, ten, how bad it 15 is. 15 seconds left. <laughs> if Obercic wants to do something, he's got to do it quick. Yeah. Well, we're going to see here the, the final bell. Okay. And that, nice fight. for a heavyweight fight, that was really fantastic. The, yeah, the work yeah. rate was great. The work rate was great. And I have to say, I think we've been spoiled tonight, up to now. Uh, we've had such great fights that anything other than fantastic is going to seem average, but it isn't. No, no, we saw, we saw great fights until now. So... That, Oh my goodness me, because you, when you're watching a three minute round, mm -hmm. if somebody wins the first two minutes of the round and then the other guy wins the last minute, mm -hmm. it looks like the guy who won the last part of the round wins the round, but he's not, but he doesn't. Well, you know, you don't, you don't know what is what is the memory of the of the referee, of the, of the judge. And um, if the judge thinks that uh, the last minute, and I mean the last minute, is the is the maybe is is, is the most important? And if well, you, they always if say you work hard on the last yeah. minute, then it might be that um, that they will still give it to the to the one who wins the last last minute. But I have to go. No, don't go. <laughs> Wait for the decision. Almost. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it went yeah. to Serbia. I think that's how you felt it was. Uh, well, I think it, it should be like that, but the difference could... I haven't heard uh, the points uh, difference, but well, uh, it hasn't, couldn't have been that big difference. I'm surprised, good fight. I'm surprised at that, and I have to give full credit. I think we should have seen yeah. an extra round. Yeah, for now, sure. Now, I'm not saying the judges are wrong. I'm, I'm just saying I, I, perhaps I saw it differently. Yeah. But I give full credit to Christian R Ristia, yeah, who fought sure. an absolute monster there and yeah. didn't stop working from the opening uh, bell. Let's hope to see them back. Yes. Okay, I have to go. Okay. Yes. See you later, my see friend. See you later. Well, as Ernesto goes off to get, uh, to get ready to referee our penultimate contest, and that means the last but one, um, I'm going to be joined shortly by Andy Sauer. And what an evening we've had, ladies and gentlemen. Senshi 23. Senshi is still young as a brand.